Hi friends, it's me, your sister Shy Soul. I know it's been a while, but um, what I decided to do is maybe do weekly updates and not daily updates or sharing things daily. The reason why is because, you know, sometimes I do have a lot of things to say. Sometimes I don't. I've been a little busy with things and I'm not sure where I left off at. I guess I should go back and look. But anyway, so what I remember the last time I shared with you, I was saying that um, I was taking a detour on my journey and uh, I, that I felt that I needed to do this and I still kind of felt like I should have done it. So I didn't, and the reason why was because I wasn't feeling well, and I wasn't gonna take the chance of being around people and getting sick. It's not COVID, but still, you know. Unfortunately, people are germy, and some don't care, I do, and uh, there's that. But going forward, I had a really great conversation this past Saturday with a girlfriend of mine that still lives in Chicago and we were just talking about different things that have we have been dealing with for a long time with our people and um, one of the things that she we talked about is that you know sometimes when you get into relationships with people it's kind of hard to move on because you're emotionally invested in that person and um, there's a siren going on so I guess I'm gonna close my windows and um, so it's kind of hard sometimes and you know you really love and you really care for these people but sometimes you you know for your own sake you need to do what you have to do for yourself, which is, you know, what I have decided to do, which is to focus on me and my self-care, you know, so that I can be a better me, you know. Um, and uh, so she said, you know, we have had men approach us and because of our commitments to our people, we may have let good men pass us by. And um, she was saying that, you know, while I'm on my journey, if someone comes along to, you know, take that chance. And, uh, you know, it's gonna be a challenge because, I, you know, I'm invested in my person. And, you know, it's like, you want someone who's going to support your dreams and want to build with you and want to take care of you and want to have a future with you and you know that's what I know that I want that's what I know that I've always wanted so I've been divorced since March of 2010 I never thought that I would be single unmarried for this long I thought that I would have definitely been married by now. You know, I'm 52. And I don't want to spend the rest of my life alone. You know? Little background. So, you know, I had wanted to move from Chicago because of the cold. Um, I was just sick of it. And I was kind of done with it big time. And so when I decided I wanted to leave, I was thinking about going to New Orleans because 
my mother-in-law lives there yes i still call her my mother-in-law because we say that even though her son and i divorced we didn't divorce each other and she's still the grandmother of my children so i was thinking of new orleans because she lives there i was also thinking of houston because i really loved the city but my sister started looking oh so back that up so i put my sister on board with this moving thing and so we were looking at houston she wasn't necessarily looking at new orleans because you know it's in below sea level and it's in a bowl and things like that and um so she started looking at phoenix and so when i met my person i had him on board with this you know like oh we're gonna do this we're gonna do this and so um she moved down here about almost seven years ago and um she i had come down here twice literally two times excuse me the second time i fell in love with this place and i knew that this is where i wanted to be but i always said now i would have come down here with her but for one thing was because i didn't want to go through a custody battle with my ex-husband not necessarily custody just he probably would have made things difficult and i didn't want to deal with that and i didn't want our daughter to deal with that so i just was like okay once she graduates from high school i'm gonna start making plans and this that and the other so yeah so long story short i had started going to school gone back to school and um i decided that i was like i'm gonna put this off because i'm not in a rush anymore you know because i was doing in-person class doing in-person classrooms and which was really great because i hadn't been in a classroom for a very long time and um then the pan panorama hits and so everything was online i'm like okay but prior to that some years ago um the the uh people that i worked for so one of the persons had retired and i told him i was like i said maybe i should move on and you know not stay because usually when new executives come in you know they try to change things up they bring in their own people and things like that and sometimes when things aren't broke you don't fix it don't need to fix it but you know that's neither here nor there he's like no just stay it'll be okay it'll be okay well lo and behold a person came in now mind you she knows her shit she really did didn't know much about publications and newspapers and writing and advertising and the people that she brought in to do that didn't know that either. So after 16 years of working in my job and close to nine years of doing what I had been doing, they decided to question my work to the point where they put me on probation. <laughs> You know, they didn't necessarily knew what I was doing at all. Nothing. But, you know, God has a funny way of doing things, right? So, when the Panasonic hit, everybody, of course, was working from home. So, I'm working from home, which, you know, gave me time. You know, like I said, God is just amazing. He just is. And so, you know, being on probation and then having reviews and blah, blah, blah. It was, it just got delayed. It got delayed for some months. So Mother's Day of 2020, you know, I'm talking to my sister and she's like, well, why don't you think about moving down here? She's like, your daughter is about to graduate and why not? I'm like, yeah, why not? So from Mother's Day on, I had started looking for work and looking for a place to live. Thank God my niece was here because she was my um, eyes of looking at places to live. And um, I found the place where I'm currently at right now, you know, with her help. And so found a job and everything, quit and packed up. 
Now, like I said, my person was supposed to come with me and he was doing that before he wasn't. That's another story that we'll get into in some point. But um, he uh, started looking for a home around a little bit before I started talking about moving. And uh, yeah, he was looking for a home. Not for us, but for him. And that's okay, that's okay. And literally he let me go. That's what people say. That's what they say. Because, you know, any man who says that he loves his woman is not gonna let her go. But I understand why he did. He said, if I didn't let you go, you'd have been miserable. And he's right. I more than likely would have been miserable. You know? So we decided that we would do this long distance relationship. And we said we would give it six months to a year. You know? We have... He's been here. I've been back to Chicago. And things have worked. And when they... And, and they haven't worked. Because, you know... Being here by myself has really been a challenge. You know, there are those days where I just wanted a hug. You know, even though there's this panini going on, you know, being close to people, it had been a challenge. But sometimes I just needed a touch. You know, nothing, nothing more than that. And, you know, I've had men approach me. But I was like, you know, I have this person back in Chicago, you know, we're trying to work through this and, you know, I've just let it go. And the last one time I had come back to Chicago and we were sitting and we were talking and we said that if we met someone that we were interested in pursuing, we would let the other person know. And so, you know, it happened twice. And both times, he, I don't even want to say it that way. He said things that made me go back to him, even though I don't, didn't, never knew if anything was going to change or not. And, um, but this time when I told him that I wanted to get back to self, that's what this is going to be getting back to self all right and so he was like he said I think this time you're probably gonna find someone and I think I'm gonna be better prepared and I'll be okay with that even though I told him that's not my focus because you know I need to take care of me and my health and such like that. And I'm in school. What am I going to have time for that? You know, but he said, he said, like most people say, when you don't look, that's when they show up. And that's possible. It's definitely possible. And I'm open to that possibility. I never thought that I would even consider something like that. But I guess now to try and find my happiness, which I'm still working on that list. Um, I might need to consider that and consider that without him. It's going to be so difficult because I really do love him. He has been such a great friend, you know. So
I'm breathing. <laughs> but, um, that's not something that I think about. But it's something I am definitely going to consider. And I never thought I'd say that. But it I guess that's getting back to self. Starting over. Which is something that I just never wanted to do. I never wanted to start a love relationship over. You know. Like I said, when you invest in this in someone. But one of the things my girl Kay said, she was like, she said, you deserve love. And you deserve someone who's really going to love you. And make sacrifices. You know, and make these sacrifices to be with you. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, gosh. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's right. And she deserves it too. Damn it. We both do shit. All the shit we done went through all these freaking years. But, um, I am I'm not ready yet, but I will be ready. I will be ready. Just not now. <laughs> but um I'm gonna stop because I need to clear my face. I need to get the heck up out of this car. It's not like in Chicago. I ain't got to worry about somebody coming around doing something dumbass shit. You know. But um just thank you for listening again this is probably going to be weekly but if something comes up I'll come back and let you guys know so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down put a comment let me know that you're looking let me know that you're watching hit the subscribe button so and the bell so that when a new video comes out you'll know so, like I said before, I've already started class, and uh, so I won't be on here as much. You'll, there's a, a five-minute video presenta uh, presentation that I need to do, so that's going to be loaded on there because I got to make it available for everybody to see and whatnot. So, appreciate you guys listening. Once again, thank you. Peace.